Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark and I'm here at the gas station I always come to. And what I wanted to do today was show you guys how to test your E85 to see what the percentage of E that's in that E85 actually is. Is it 85 or is it less? Now, if you look at the actual pump here, uh, this pump says E85 minimum of 70. So it could be all the way down to 70 and they're selling it as 85. So if you are not running a sensor, if you're not running a flex fuel kit in your car and you are doing an e-blend, you need to test it to figure out exactly what you're getting. Otherwise, you may think you're running an E30 or an E50 blend, but you may be at like an E15 or an E20 and not getting everything that you think you are. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna test this and see where it's at and then get a, a good mix in here. Today we're changing from E30 to an E50 blend and so I'll show you how I'm using the calculator to do that. Okay, so you don't need a much. to the red line with the E85. Let it sit, and then when it separates, the line will be at what percentage is. All right, so it's a little bit windy and a little bit chilly out there. So I came back in, and uh, so we're, we're still waiting. Um, but what I said was you fill it to this blue line with water, fill it to the red line, with your E85, shake it up, and you let it sit for a couple of seconds, or a couple of minutes. And as you can see, it starts to separate. And so you can see it's still a little bit cloudy down here. Uh, looks like we're right at about 87, about 87% right now, uh, if you look. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple more minutes and see if it comes down to about that E85 level. Um, we may be running a little bit higher than what we thought, so that's not bad. Ha I'd rather have E85 that's a little bit more pure than, uh, than less pure. And this is why I love coming to this gas station. I've got a Shelby Cobra over here. <laughs> I've got this beautiful, beautiful Corvette over here. I mean, it's just always show cars when I come here. Okay, so the way that you figure out what the ethanol content is uh, for your entire fuel tank, you're gonna need some sort of calculator. I use this little E85 calculator, bring it up, and this is what it looks like. So I'll show you guys what I do. So you take a look at how much uh, fuel you have left. You can estimate and get in there. Um, you can go through you know, how much, how much ethanol is in the pump gas, uh, target mix, so you can change if you're at 10%, you can put 10% in there. If your E85 tests at 80, you can change this to 80. Uh, if you're going for a target of 30, you can put 30 in there. Uh, currently, if it's at you know zero, okay, and you're at an empty tank, it's gonna tell you, okay, you're gonna add this much of each, and that's what's gonna get you there. If you've got half a tank at zero, this is what you need to do to get there. So this is a really great tool if you know what the content is, what's currently in your tank, if you're running zero or 10%, uh, 
Um, and this gives you a great way to figure out how to get there. Now, once you've got your tank full, it's a little bit more, um, every tank you do is a little bit harder to get it precise. So at some point it's, it's advisable to go back to a baseline, run it dry or run it close to empty, do a, a full tank without any ethanol in it, run that through, maybe even a second tank and then start over to get it right or go with a sensor. All right. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you got something out of this. If, uh, if you did, If you did get something out of this, please take a minute, go down, hit that subscribe button right next to the little bell icon. Hit that. If you got any comments, any questions, leave them down below. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Thanks.